the shop in the village of Krenica. Can almost support the hop, the hand blind, fresh a wash. The moss maguire, side your jealous, the ugly in the herden, crew up the hill. Friends, fellow Republicans, and children, this ceremony on the 21st anniversary of the death of Commandant General Tom McGuire, the leader of the South Mio Brigade in the Black and Tan War, and a loyal Republican right up to his death at 102 years. I'm privileged and honoured to be here to wel welcome you all on this occasion. And we'll start by having a minute's silence in honour of this veteran Republican and his wife who has stood by his side through all those years of hardship. And indeed, we think tonight of all Republicans who gave their life in the struggle for Irish independence. So we'll have one minute's silence. And now I call on a long time Republican and a friend of the Republican movement on all fronts who has travelled here a long distance this evening to say a decade of the Rosary in Irish. And I call on Sean Lynch from Longford to say that decade of the Rosary.
second read will be laid by Mara Harrington, the renowned warrior of Shell to Sea, who was still fighting that cause and is a great example to us all that you struggle right to the end. And now, as I have said before, we are gathered here on the 21st anniversary of the death of General Tom Maguire, and the years have passed on, and Ireland is still unfree. And shape of things have have come around where things haven't improved that much and the Republican movement may be at a little low ebb at the moment but it'll gather momentum again so long as there are people who will be true to the Republican cause. We have seen the letdown of people who stood side by side with us over the past 40 years and now they have taken the Queen's shilling but that does not deter other Republicans from going on for the goal, the final goal which is an All-Ireland Republic and Tom Maguire I see here on his stone last and faithful survivor of the second All-Ireland Dáil, Aidan he was a survivor of that, who remained true to the Republican cause when all his former comrades took the easy option out. And that is why we, as Republicans, are here to pay our tribute, and we will be here every year to see that his aims and his objectives will finally be realized. Now, I don't want to say much more to you except we're now coming to the main part of the ceremony, which is the oration here this evening. And newly elected and the only Sinn Féin councillor in this island at the moment, re-elected there in the May election, it gives me great pleasure to welcome back here, who has spoken here before, Tomaso Coran of Kundin Sinn Féin 
and need to go to the house of the house of the house of the house of the the house of 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 the house Friends and Republicans, it is a great honor for me on the 21st anniversary of Commandant General Tom McGuire to be asked to speak in this hallowed spot this evening. And as I previously said, going back some time ago to an old tape that I managed to get hold of in an interview that was done with him in his house down here. And his son Sean, who's here amongst us today, was in that interview as well, as were there many others, and some of them who have gone since. And he was asked, how did he stay true to the All-Ireland Republic? And he said he had no problem at all staying true to the All-Ireland Republic. And he also mentioned that he was summoned to Dublin to a meeting in the late 22 or the early 22 or whenever it was when they were preparing for this divide and conquer the separation of Irish people for the first time in the history. And of all the defeats we ever had, we were together, even after our first defeat with the United Irishmen and the French Revolution. We were defeated. We were defeated again at the time of the Fenians. We were defeated in 1916. We probably were on the verge of winning the Tan War of 1920. But in 22, we were divided. And you see the result of what come today. And that man that Tom spoke about was from the next parish to myself. And he was prominent in upholding and bringing in the free state. A free state that certainly has not worked. And a free state that will not work and a free state that will never, never will work until the last English emblem and the last English soldier leave Ireland. And what we need and what we have here in Republican Sinn Féin set up by men like Guy O'Connell and Rory O'Brady and others was a new Ireland, here and new, an alternative to what we have. Catholic and Protestant together and take the power away from centralization and bring it down into county councils and district councils. But of course, the bosses of these fellows that are outside on the road this evening don't want that because they'd be out of a job. And if there was an election tomorrow morning, not many of these buckos would be returned. And until we have an Ireland Parliament, for all the people of Ireland, regardless of religion or creed, we'll never have peace in Ireland. And I'm telling the Dublin government, Westminster and Stormont, and I'm sure that the word will be brought back to them, that we will never give in to English rule in Ireland. And we'll never give in to a two-state Ireland, regardless of what harassment, of what hardships, like Tom Maguire and his comrades went through on many an occasion, but in particular the Tommy Kenny Katie ambush. It's not fashionable to be an Irish Republican in the day we have. They want it all 
just over. See it that? Things are normal. We're controlled by a foreign power from Europe. Now we've lost the viability of our lands and our seas, our oil. But now Harrington strives so much to fight for the rights of the Irish people. All those things are given away. Two big research ships in the docks in Galway, less than an hour from here. Not a small trawler or a cut-off to be seen fishing. Everything that the ordinary person done put back. Mass immigration of our youth and no one gives a damn. In particular, those in power in Linsler House or elsewhere. So it's up to us, as the only citizens of the 32 counties, to stand up and hold our heads high and fight and struggle on like Tom McGuire has left us a legacy. A legacy, I'm sure, if Tom were to speak himself, would say that it was came down to him from further earlier generations. But in every generation, as Pierre says, if you're one person, you can have a revolution. Max Sweeney said, you must be the more steadfast by being a few. We in Republican Sinn Féin never went with the status quo. We never went with big crowds. We never went or bent under threats from either the state or former comrades. And we certainly will not be now to either the Dublin government or to our former comrades who has turned out to be lackeys who has gone into Westminster or Stormont I should say and probably later Westminster and Linster House. It's a very, very simple life. It's a very simple thing that we want. We only want the last of our four green fields. And we'll not lay off until we get it. Be it now, if it doesn't come in our time. Might not come in these young lads' time, these kids that are here today. But it might come in their kids' time afterwards. But as sure as day follows night, it will come. So the Dublin government and their cronies in Luxembourg and Strasbourg and Brussels or wherever they are, and all the sellouts that the Dublin government made against the Irish people when they took all our rights and sold everything we had, something that wasn't theirs to sell, but they sold it. They sold the rights of our youth coming up. They blackguarded our elderly by taking their medical cards off them. Yes, they walk around and their leader in this county here, this fine county of Mio that we stand in. He can tell them that, that we don't give two dams about them or any of his lackeys above a Linster House or any partitionist in Linster House, be it Fianna Fáil, Fine Gay, Labour or our former comrades, the Provost. And that we will never give in until Ireland is free. And that we'll achieve what Tom McGuire and his comrades and all those who went before them someday when we will be free. For me to
for being here with us tonight and we'll come here every year as I said at the beginning and tonight in commemorating the memory of Tom Maguire and all those who fell in the fight for Irish freedom we'll also remember some of our friends here we'll remember Rory O'Brady who was here with us every year a lifelong Republican a man uh, who was held in very high esteem in Republican circles a man who could hardly be replaced a man whom we are going to miss an awful lot we can also think tonight of Sean McAnomra the man who sat on Podgerine here for years who passed away during the year and we'll also think of our former friend and comrade and an old buddy of mine who when I was in turn was in the 50s Bart Gormley from Chum they were here every year they're uppermost in our minds tonight and finally I just say that in mentioning all those people Republicans their principles were fought for very hard and they won't be sold easy yeah. we bring those principles with us to the grave and if we fail in this generation there's a young generation of Irishmen and women coming up who will achieve that final goal